Officers are also working to find the people defacing other massive pieces of art in our city. Murals that are supposed to deter taggers in Denver in some cases have now become the target. Investigator Rick Sounder is on this story for us tonight. Rick. Well, Karen, this is part of the Crush Walls Festival, which is going on throughout the Rhino area right now. Not necessarily in this spot, but throughout the city, we found some of these murals are being targeted. His canvas is a wall. Spray paint serves as his brushes. Chad Bolsinger's murals tell a story. This featured an African-American woman. Symbol of social justice. Um, I wanted to have this young female character that was almost warrior-esque. It took him 30 to 40 hours to create it, captured on a video. But now this work of art has been hit by vandals. Their spray paint erasing his. It's a matter of disrespect, but at the same time, nobody knows who any of these guys are. Murals are popping up around the city, often part of Denver's Urban Arts Fund. It's designed to turn graffiti-filled passages into galleries. It was bringing art into an alley that was pretty much consumed with homelessness and trying to spread some life. It is hoped these works of art will deter unauthorized tagging. The city says it's been a big success with 160 murals. But we found in some cases, the taggers were not far behind. One person's art may serve as another's canvas. These murals often have a graffiti-proof coating, but in some cases, it can be very hard to get it off. Live in Rhino, Rick Salinger covering Colorado First. All right, Rick, thank you.